Hey everyone, so if you didn't know, there was a movie that Studio Ghibli released recently, uh, very recently, I think last month, onto HBO Max, and I think the title is Earwig and the Witch, and it's interesting because I think this is the first sort of 3D animated movie that they made. Uh, I didn't know about this, a friend of mine uh, recommended that I react to the trailer, um, I certainly didn't know. Um, but looking into it, uh, I think this is directed not by Hayao Miyazaki, the master himself, but I think it's directed by his son, Goro Miyazaki. So uh, let's look at the trailer and see uh, kind of if it captures the same kind of um, charming, I guess, elements that his dad is. Actually, it doesn't look that bad. Now then, let's you and I get a few things straight. My name is Bella Yaga. I'm a witch. Great. You agree that you'll teach me magic, and I agree to help you out. If you work really hard, I shan't do anything to hurt you. A love potion for the boy next door? All of these are pretty useless to me. The spell I believe you're looking for is somewhere towards the back. Hang on, you actually talk? Of course I do, just not very often. In this household, there's one rule that's crucial. You must on no account for any reason ever dare disturb the Mandrake. And gives like a rude, spirited away vibes. A hole left by a witch can only be filled by a witch. I'll be learning magic. Well, so I was told. Can't wait to start. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, kind of looks, you know, sort of in line with movies like Howl's Moving Castle where there was a magic apprentice in that one I believe um, and looking into the movie again I was looking up some information about it it is based on a novel by Diana Wynne Jones I think who also inspired Howl's um, hold on let me see if I can get the Japanese trailer subtitle trailer because I'm really curious about the voices okay so there it is um, Okay, so let's. Uh, I know a lot of like Studio Ghibli movies are kind of licensed, and they get like these big actors to fill in the roles for the English dub. But let's take a look at the Japanese one, and let's see if there's any differences. Let's see. It's a little bit of a difference, I think, with what the lyrics were, what she was singing. And in Japanese, the name is Aya, not Erika. <laughs> Her little hair, it's, it's, kind of, it's kind of funny. So it's a story about witches? Okay. That's different. そんなにおしゃべりじゃないけどな。ところでこの家には一つ大事な決まり事がある。何があっても決し。マンドレコを煩わせるようなことをするんじゃない。宇宙を包め。<笑><笑> 
ウィッグ魔女が開けた穴は魔女にしか埋められない So there are a few differences between the two trailers, which is interesting. Okay, so between the two, there are a few differences.、Um, I think when they localized the movie, they wanted a more Western name for the main character, so in the English version, I think the name is Erica, whereas in the original Japanese version, her name is Aya. Which is fine, I guess, if you want to kind of、um, give it that kind of translated Western flair, I suppose.、Um, but it looks like、uh, for the HBO Max release,、uh, they kind of focused more on presenting、uh, the actors who are in there. So I guess that would draw American audience, North American audiences to watch it, I suppose. Um, whereas in the Japanese one, the Japanese trailer, which、uh, it, it doesn't focus more on the actors but more on like, the story itself, because、um, they show, in the Japanese trailer, they show the tape player. Because when I guess Aya or Erika was a baby, she had the tape from her mom, I suppose, who is the redheaded witch, I suppose.、Um, and it shows a little other stuff that relates more to the story rather than like. Oh, here's who's in the movie, you know. But I think looking at the movie, the trailers for the movie itself, it seems like、uh, it'll be kind of like a whimsical kind of story about this little girl who was orphaned.、Um, and, you know, she gets taken in by a witch. I don't know if、uh, Bella Yaga knows who she is when she takes her in, but we'll see. I don't know.、Um, but it, I think one of the concerning points is how. Uh, I think this is Studio Ghibli's first kind of、uh, foray into、uh, doing a 3D animated film because before, up to, everything up until then, and I guess like other projects coming out,、um, they're all like hand drawn. So I kind of wonder if they'll struggle with the 3D animation. It looks okay for now, but I'm no, I can't judge it because I'm not an animator or anything like that. But also, another thing is how、um, it's directed by Goro. Goro Miyazaki, who's Hayao Miyazaki's son.、Um, and I think one of I think his first movie he tried was Tales from Earthsea, and that didn't get great reviews. So I kind of wonder if he learned since then, and if this will、um, kind of be a step up from his previous works. But I'm sure like, he's under a little pressure always because you know, he's always in the shadow of his dad. So we'll see. But overall, this looks like. An、interesting kind of tale and adaptation of、uh, the、um, of the original work, I suppose. Like like Studio Ghibli loves to do, I suppose, with like Howls and other titles that they've made. But、uh, what did you think? What did you think of the trailers?、Um, what is your opinion of how they localize and translate these kind of movies into English? Like, are you a fan? Are you do you not mind, or do you wish that they stuck to the original kind of translation? Original script and stuff, but、um, I don't know if this is available anywhere outside of HBO Max, sadly.、Uh, maybe it's because they got the rights to it, I don't know. But if you have HBO Max, are you willing to check it out? I suppose.、Uh, I think I saw that、um, they the movie hasn't had a theatrical release, so maybe they're going to try to push for that later in the year, maybe like next month or something. But if it were to release in theaters, would you go see it?、Uh, Are you excited that Studio Ghibli is still you know, making new stuff? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching another video, and I'll see you in the next one.